Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is a fun day because today I'm watching the Netflix animated Halloween film, Wendell and Wild. If I remember when I watched the trailer, it seemed kind of Tim Burton-y in the sense that it's kind of stop motion-y. I don't know the specific terms of like what they use for the animation of this compared to what the Tim Burton films use, but they seem fairly similar. And I know that Keegan-Michael Key and Jordan Peele voiced the characters Wendell and Wild, and I really am such a big fan of them. So I just, I have really high expectations for this film. I'm excited. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe for more movie and TV reactions because I post new videos every week. Also, don't forget to hit that post notification bell down below so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. And with that, let's go. That's creepy. Time to go, cat. Okay. <laughs> before you put Mr. Fozzy out of business. Daddy. Aww. Daddy. This is how we're starting this film. The Scream Fair. <laughs> I'm so fascinated by what is going on here. Shocking. <laughs> this is intense. You're doing it again. Doing what, Wendell? Stealing the hair cream. There they are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What? Are they growing hair or something? Oh. Was anyone hurt? That was bad. What did this girl deserve to have all this bad luck? Good memories. They can hurt the most. No. Oh. So this whole neighborhood fell into disarray because of the brewery? Ah! That's tragic. That's so sad that one event caused all of these rippling effects. Too slow. No returns. <laughs> okay, the little goat is freaking cute. New name, new beginning. It's your do-over, KK, and we're going to help you heal. I thought they were about to be bullies, but I actually don't hate them. Feed your soul, not your waistline. For the environment. Well, that's never mind. Maybe I spoke too soon. Feed your soul, not your waistline. <gasps> oh shit! Is she gonna die? I am. I have so many questions. Question one: How can I get a little baby goat like that? So bad. <sighs> Welcome home, Miss Elliot. That's the voice of what's his face. He was in everything, everywhere, all at once. I just don't remember his name, but I've seen him in many, many things. Uh -huh. the Klaxon. What a phone. Those are some shoes. She looks so good though. Octopus Mimicus. The Mimic Octopus. What? It can change its body shape. Holy oh, that's cool. It's gonna change to something weird. <gasps> nope, nope, nope. <sighs> What's on my head? What the hell? Tell no one, cat. I'm I'm lost, but so intrigued. I'm not optimistic. Um, God, can't bribe them, and they they're too clever to be. Not these corrupt people discussing the profitability of jails for their own advantages. Ugh. I vouched for you the night of the brewery fire. Oh, so they burned the brewery down. That's great. <laughs> what? Drowning is so peaceful. What the f I'm still investigating the fire. Look, Wind. Wow. Those workers were my friends, my neighbors. There's so many layers to this film, and I'm obsessed. Also, I can't get over the connections to Donald Trump in that character. The blonde hair, the golf club, the corruption, it's too much. That's impressive. 
I'm already a big fan of Raul, and I'm also a big fan of how they're incorporating his story into this. Because at first I was definitely confused and I was like wondering, I thought they said this was a girls school, but then they start revealing in very just subtle conversations between some of the characters that he is transgender and the little conversations where Siobhan accidentally called him by his dead name, but then also his mom on the phone with her boss reminding him. It's not something that I feel like I see every day in a film like this, and I'm very happy to see it. Not her reliving her past traumas. Greetings, Hail Maiden. Me? Okay, so she is the Hell Maiden. Interesting. Bears above. What's a bears above? Find Hell Maidens for demons. Found you for us. Is Bears Above supposed to be a take on Beelzebub, aka one of the names given to Lucifer, Satan, the devil? Beelzebub. Is that the weird crustacean? Fish? Whatever they called it? Absolutely not. Why is this person writing slander on a chalkboard? Now we'll both be in the dark. Wakey, wakey. This is so much. Why would that goo bring something back to life? That's... I mean, I get it's a tick, but that's torture. Torture. Aww. Why? That's gross. <laughs> Did they just say that character's last name is best? Father level level best? Hang on, let me IMDB this. Father best? I love it. We're not quite related, but we're close. Her parents. The Claxons. Clax Corp. She's a klaxon. If I find out that the klaxons put a worm in her apple all those years ago, I'm gonna riot. My mother thinks the fire was on purpose. <gasps> I guess I knew that, but why? Just seeing all, just seeing him say that in front of all of those caskets, that's horrifying. Hand me to the hell maiden. Hell maiden? Cat. No. I would run. Raul, I would run. Mm, that is one messed up man of the claw. Can you bring anyone back to life? Because if you do it to her parents, like their bodies are going to be really decayed. Gross. Oh, he's throwing up all the water. <laughs> all that and enough to save my school. That's a mood. I can't wait for them to see him and be like, psych, I'm alive, bitches! With trauma therapy, full detox, and whole being cleanses. You ever been inside a private prison? <laughs> no. Ooh, privatizing prisons should never be a thing. I hate that. I would lose my mind. Sister Daly! Sister Chinstrap! Sister Chinstrap? I have questions about that. How are they not fully decayed? <coughs> Damn, what? That's so creepy. That's not gonna be their parents. It's gonna be a trick. Why are we alive now? Doesn't matter, does it? It, it does, though. Hey, our helmet! Oh, and you ate little Raul as well. <laughs> little Raul. <gasps> you too? That's right. Yeah, and it sucks. That's what she's gonna say. Tax demons are raising an army of the dead! A whole army, you say? Yes! What is wrong with this dude? Just do it. Ooh. Some say Russ Bank is already lost. 
a ghost town. I mean, kinda. Zombies? Why are they casual about that? Zombies? What are you doing here? Can that really be correct? Their votes actually count? Why are they so casual about these zombies? Possible for them to succeed there. And when they fail, our new prison will be waiting with open arms. Jeez. I know, I, I guess I haven't really said it, but I love the animations in this. It's stunning. Oh, that's kind of cool. Make it stop. It's creepy, but it's also really cool. Wow. Release those demons. I can see the future. What? It's Kate. Why didn't they tap him? Like, hey, the doorbell. Gotcha. Who are you? Oh, you're so dumb. More demons. I collect them. That's a little messed up. Gabby. Siobhan ends up saving the day. I'm. I hope so. That'd be a fantastic. Hell, Bucky. You disappoint me, father. Oh. Uh, all these people they raised need to go. What is this? It's how they pay all Clark's court personnel. Worthless in the real world. How is that legal? It's starting. It's oh no, it's it's Beersabub. Our project. A parent protecting their child. Oh, that's cool. That's stunning. Come on. Boys, that stuff just don't last. Stuff don't last? Oh. Newest, biggest construction project in our state's history. Now what state is that? I have questions. <sighs> now my partner's in crime. Are there like five people left in this town? Like truly. Like the seven people that we see here. Dear God, Javon's being brainwashed. Love that. Go crush them! Oh! What? Wow. Wow, that's your daughter. Won't you let me on me? Sister Helly's a badass. Can't prove a bloody thing without witnesses. Oh, hello, it is us. Wow. <laughs> well. If this is gonna be like a happy carnival for people that aren't being tortured all the damn time. I'm a hell maiden with amazing friends. Oh, so they did actually do stop motion. I always wonder if it's actually stop motion or if it's, or if it's CGI. That's amazing. That's so much effort. It amazes me every time I watch it. 10 out of 10 film. I loved this. I say that a lot, but like this one was actually Stunning. It was a very fun, spooky film. It definitely had its like creepy moments, but nothing that was like super, super out of the box creepy that would stress me out. Like I really, really enjoyed this. I thought this was so fun. I thought it was so well told. And I just really love the message that in the end of the day, the real villain was capitalism and corruption. Big fan of that. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Loved this, loved the story, loved the acting. Stunning. So thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also let me know in the comments below what you all thought of Wendell and Wild. Did you like it as much as I did? Let me know. If you want to watch any of my previous Halloween reaction videos, you can watch them all in the playlist up above. As always, a big thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you are interested in supporting me on Patreon, you can visit the link in the description below. And I will see you all next time.